Thank you. Hey, I'm Barb Abney from Go Radio, 96.3, the alternative station. And I'm hanging with Cecil Otter, <laughs> bright and early on a Sunday morning. Bright and early. So you did two nights with Doom Tree at Papa yeah. Charlie's. Yep. And I understand that they're still cleaning up the casualties. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great show. It was really fun. There were, I, I actually got a dinner plate, a chinette plate with a set list on it. Sweet. Thrown at me like a frisbee. <laughs> I'm like, this isn't what they played. <laughs> yeah. There, I, Then I see several Chinette plates throughout. The, I'm like, it, was it like, oh, well, we'll just pick one. Yeah, we just make it up as we go. So I've been out of town for about a week, and I check Twitter when I get home, and it's like, Cecil Otter drops new song. I'm like, yeah. this was unexpected. And then, like, what, uh, the next day, it's like, Cecil Otter drops another new song. Yeah. What's the story? I'm just crazy. Right? No, I don't know. Working on two albums right now uh, with Ryan Olson, and then one I'm working on with myself. And uh, I had those three songs kind of left over for like four years almost, and they really? were they were done, ish, like enough to like go into the studio. But we started trying to adapt them to the new stuff we were working on, and it just seemed like more of a hassle. Okay. And like stress to like try to match new songs to old ones, old ones to new ones. So we're just like, me and Beat got lunch. We're just like, why don't we just give them out? Like just get them out there and like just show that there's like still a pulse <laughs> of solo stuff after eight years. So, is it an EP? I guess so. I, my girlfriend asked me what an EP was, and I said extended play, and I was like, I don't even know what that means. It means it's more than a single. <laughs> it's more so than a single. So there's three songs, right? Okay. Or that could be a maxi single if you like, because then it's maxi. it's like an A side, a B side, yeah, and a C side. Oh. Yeah. Woo. I do you remember maxi singles? It sounds familiar. But they were cassette, cause singles. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, in the little cardboard. Scene. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pff, did I ever? Uh, <laughs> I didn't. I just didn't call them that. <laughs> when people were poor, they just called them full like albums. Like I got the whole album. You just got the demos and stuff yeah. that they didn't want to release. So now tell me how I can get hold of this. Just online. It's just it's all three songs at once as a one time yeah. thing. No, yeah. and you're giving it away or it's. Um, it's I think it's like five bucks. Oh, okay. It's well, it's like six songs total, but it's oh okay. But it's so it's just like instrumental versions of everything, but it's like the instrumental versions are a little bit different. Right. I just really like them because I was like working with BJ and like all these awesome musicians. So it's like you got Jake Hansen, right. Benson from the Pines playing, Ooh. Uh, Joe Westerland on drums. So he, he's like the man. He's like my favorite drummer in the world. Um, are you tapping your phone? Okay, it is you tapping then, your phone. Like, I'm like, oh yeah. Are there like something falling? Um, I'm, I'm making a beat right okay. now. I'm sampling this. <laughs> uh, Wait, you hear the remix. <laughs> it's me screaming, oh my God, <laughs> stop. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just like there's so many awesome players and working with BJ on it too, doing all the mixing and doing a lot of the stuff at April Base. It was just like, dude. I got like, people got to hear these things without me like on them. <laughs> We're like saying so. so. These are all instrumental tracks? No. Okay. Um, there's there's three songs. There's the Cross Country's Grime and Beauty, and then the instrumentals for each of those. Okay. But then each instrumental is like a little bit different than it would sound with, with me rapping. Yeah. Just, okay. Just a little. Okay. But. So now what other projects have you got going on right now? Um, well, I have two solo albums. One I'm working on with Olsen, Ryan Olsen. Oh my God. Um, Oh yeah, we're going down for sure. <laughs> um, the one I'm working on with Ryan Olson, um, and another one that I'm getting really close on with Sage right now, or that I'm putting out with Sage Francis. Uh, Strange, awesome. Strange Famous Records. So one with him, and then one with Doom Tree. Um, and then me and Zach Coulter are just going in to like finish up a little EP, extended play, or maybe a full one, I don't know. We got a bunch of songs, we're going to see which ones we like and which ones fit, and then uh, me, me and Zach and Sean doing a little thing. And by Sean, you mean? Tillman, Harmar, Hermar. Now this is this is recorded at Human's Way, right? That project? Um, no, that's just all with, with me, like like most stuff is done in my, my studio. Oh! I have a studio. I can believe that. It's pretty cool. We, are we still moving? It's got a fireplace, moving? yeah. So what else is going on? I know that you are constantly like going through record bins and stuff. What kind of oh. finds have you found lately? 
constant finds. I just, well, and then I go online too and like I research there and then go get them. But um, right now I've found a bunch of really awesome Dutch records, like Dutch prog. Really, really good, weird, obscure prog. Okay. Um, there's one band called, uh, I, th I don't know exactly how they pronounce it. I think it's Kaipa. It's K A I P A. It's actually one of the things that I sampled on uh, the record I just put out on okay. Grind. And uh, they put out this little demo thing. They had like a bunch of albums, but they had a demo thing they put out in like 72 or something like that. And there's one little demo track of these. I don't know if it's a keyboard or if it's like women singing, but it's just like bum, 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 like doing this thing and I sampled it up. Oh, cool. And so I was thinking about getting it replayed, like Beagle's bringing it up. He's like, we should get it replayed so like we don't get in trouble with the sample, which I don't care about samples. Like, come and get me. Like, let's split it up. <laughs> and from 1972. Split it up. Wrong. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like what are you doing with that demo right now that... Anyways, but yeah, so I, I just hit those dudes up and like all those guys still own the rights to their records and they're like, do what you want with it. Really? Yeah, just put my name on it. And I was like, this is so much easier if just musicians are hitting up musicians about it. And saying, can I borrow this? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's easier when they're like, yeah, we sold credit. three records last year. So, so I don't know. I don't know if they're still doing stuff or not, but it was pretty <laughs> They sweet. sold three records last yeah. year, I think. Yeah. You were one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bought it. <laughs> This is an interview about piracy. Hey. <laughs>